Good morning. <laughs> Greetings from Australia. So, I wanted to share about surfing and how my experience in surfing really relates to these times. So I'm usually pretty good at things. Like once I commit to it, once I really put my practice into it, it I improve easily. And the one thing that I have been very slow in improving is surfing. And part of it is that there's this like intense fear that I get that like <laughs> Every time I look and see a wave, even if it's like a small one, I'm like, I think I'm gonna die. Like it's just gonna, it's gonna swallow me and like pound me and rip me up. And, and that's what's really blocked me is that I've let my fear overwhelm me. And earlier this year, um, after taking like a long, like many years break from surfing, I was like, you know what? I really do want to surf. All my good friends surf and it's really fun to be in the water. And, and, uh, and I actually started improving. Like I was, I was surfing every day in Bali and, um, really enjoying myself and, and having a certain like ability to like catch waves and, um, and it, it was fun, you know, and it just like lit me up and like, was just like kind of a mood changer no matter what. So fast forward, um, I'm here in Western Australia where the water's ice cold. You know, Bali, it's warm, a little bit dirty, but it's warm. Here it's ice cold, super clean, but ice cold. Um, there are sharks and the waves, like it's just not the place for like beginner, advanced beginner people. Like they're like sharp and there's like, they're feisty and there's a bite to them and there's a surprise to them. And like the reefs are shallow and like things are just like jagged and pointy. And you know, like there's a certain toughness that you have to have. And you know, I still was like, well, no, fuck it. Like I'm going to become a surfer. Uh, so I would get in the water and I literally would be like, fuck no. Like I, I would just, <laughs> I would get so cold. Like I would always cut myself or like, you know, like I've gotten so many accidents. But you know, for like all of us right now, we're all where we are. And um, I think we're all oscillating through our waves of like, I'm feeling inspired, oh my God. And then like moments of like, oh my God, I'm gonna die and this is horrible and I feel trapped. And, um, you know, and, and I think more than ever, I don't know about you, but for me, it's like presence is our power. Being present is our power. So, um, you know, I work with what I've got. So now it's like, I've, yep, I've got my wetsuit, thank God. Um, I've got a board much smaller than I'm used to, but wow, that's going to like train me, you know, to actually learn how to surf on a much smaller board. Um, and in these waters that I wouldn't choose, I definitely would not choose these waters. And I watch my reaction because if I go into my normal reaction, which is like, I don't like this, this is scary, when is this over, then I'm not really going to ever be able to surf. Um, there's so much resistance and I notice how I can quickly turn my like dislike and, and minor worry and anxiety into like massive fear panic where like, and the thing is, is that for all of us, when we go into panic, we just do stupid shit. Like just, that's how we injure ourselves. That's how we die. You know, it's, it's, I, I uh, had trained in sea canyoning with this guy um, who like worked in safety for a long time. And, um, you know, he would watch me cause I would have to like jump off cliffs into, into water. And like, I would, I, I would freak out. Um, I, I classically have like catastrophic thinking, like my imagination could just take me into like the worst places ever. Um, so you can imagine that like, you know, what's happening in the world. Like I've gone into some really like, I think we all have gone into some worst case scenarios. So, um, <laughs> So, you know, like he just looked at me cause he could see like the panic on my face, you know, and like the fear, like causing my eyes to pop and like everything got rigid and like he could just see how I like, I left my body and he's like, all right, cat, like even if the worst thing's happening, like you've got to stay fucking focused and clear. 
and he's like and don't let your mind go into all of those like worst case scenarios like stay focused on the task so to get me to jump off these fucking cliffs um you know i i realized like my fear wasn't gonna just go away you know like you know how sometimes we think like well if i sit here long enough or like talk about it long enough like it will just suddenly dissipate or like maybe some magical spell will come down and what I've learned through this jumping off fucking cliffs or like, you know, flying on the trapeze, like things that really grip me or even like being intimate in a relationship, um, you just have to do it. And so, you know, I, I'm like standing on this cliff, I'm shaking and he's like, just look forward. Don't look down. You know, if you look down, you go down, look forward. And I'm like, all right. And he's like, and don't let your mind jump into like the death of you being splattered on the rocks, you know, like focus on you having a successful outcome, you know? And so it was like, I had to visualize myself because it was all about timing that as I leapt and as I like leapt into this, like, as far forward as I could, that this wave was gonna catch me. And so I did it and I totally didn't trust him, but I had to. And I have to admit that like, yes, of course I screamed like I was dying, but like once I hit the water, it actually was like, oh, it like, this, is, this isn't so bad. It's kind of fun. And he got me to like do it a few more times, you know, like climb up, you know, jump, you know, and like the first three times, like that fear gripped me. And then I was like, all right, this is like old news. Like I got it, you know, actually I'm gonna have fun with this. Actually give it, let me do it a few more times. This is kind of boring. So the reality is, is that like we are in new waters, you know, and it's waters that most of us are like, fuck no, like I don't want this, you know, I don't have, you know, if you told me I would have had better equipment, right? We're like, I'm stuck with like some equipment, you know, some of it, it's like, sweet, I'm so glad I have this equipment, but other stuff, it's like, God, I gotta be creative. And that's one of our powers is being creative and adaptable. Um, one of our weaknesses is like how much our fear can just take us into these like horrible places. And one thing like when I was 19, I lived with um, a, an ayahuascaro in Peru. And probably like one of the biggest takeaways I had was just how we, we really are dreaming this reality together. Um, it's not just me dreaming this reality, like we're doing it together. And, and so that's where it's like, okay, how do we support one another? Because it's like when one of us starts to freak out, like everything starts to freak out. How do we like remind each other of like the truth and our power? And, and like almost kind of our, our own responsibility of like, all right, you know, how am I contributing to this world dream, to this cosmic dream? So the other day, like I'm, I'm, I'm I said to my boyfriend, like, all right, like, because I get a little bit jealous when he goes surfing. Like, I want to surf, you know, even though I think I'm going to die and I hate it and I get injured, like, I want to do it. So I'm like, all right, can, can we go out? And, um, and it was great because I realized that, you know, my anxiety and dislike, it had dissipated because I've been getting into this water. It's not as bad, you know, I'm getting used to this much smaller board. Okay, it's not as awkward. Like I'm slowly becoming friends with it. Um, which I love like the Buddhist term, Maitreya, friendliness. Like that to me is key. Like how do we create a friendliness with, with newness? Um, cause I don't know about you. I'm going a lot of side notes. Um, but even like good things, if it's, if it's a change, if it's something new, I just don't like it. Like I, you know, because like, you know, for the past 20 years, like I've just been traveling the world, I get to watch myself. Like, you know, you put me in like a new apartment or new training ground or new whatever, you know, and sometimes it's like every two weeks or every month. Like, even if it's the best thing ever, like I have this personality that's just like, I don't like it. Like I have to give myself like a window of like, yes, cat. You're, you're gonna decide that you hate this and like your mind is gonna go into like all these like thinking seeing all those things that just aren't right and what I've realized is that you know when I'm sensitive like you know if you're sensitive you get overwhelmed a little bit more easily and so you know finding ways that can help you in transition where it's like okay I'm gonna slow it down I'm gonna find places of like safety I'm gonna find places of pleasure I'm not gonna push myself too hard like I'm gonna like first just take a moment to adjust but then I'm gonna let myself go for it okay so I'm in this water you know I'm getting used to the cold I'm getting used to um, these small boards and and what I had to practice was like 
okay, like we actually had to get me to purposefully wipe out because the, the scariest thing, at least for me, I don't know about you, it's not about riding the wave. It's like when the way, when I fall off or when I'm caught in a set, you know, how long will it hold me down? Um, how long, like where will it take me when it's holding me down? And so that was the thing was like just getting used to that. Like, all right. And, and within the first five minutes, um, you know, I was just getting held under and like thrown around. By the fifth wave though, I was like, okay, I get your pattern now. Okay, like I can now predict that, you know, I'm held under for, you know, a certain amount of time. And for those of you who do surf, I don't know about you, but for me, like it always feels a lot longer. And then if I actually start to count in my head how long I'm held under, it's, it's a lot shorter. And okay, like every time I pop up, like the key is I gotta stay calm because that will help me be able to take another breath and just stay under and stay relaxed. So the panic won't help me because it's like, if I come up and I'm panicking and I'm like, fuck, there's another wave, I won't have any breath and I won't have that capacity to stay chilled out underneath. Because in reality, unless you're like surfing huge waves, but I'm talking like, you know, nothing, nothing crazy, you know, maybe like, overhead well it's not even just the quality of these waves like yeah they're gonna like maybe even if you dive under you'll get pulled around a little bit but not so bad so it's just like all right my only power is to stay relaxed like I gotta like take a breath I dive down as deep as I can I let the waves do their thing finally I can come back up and so once that you can like start to recognize that pattern you know and you can almost create like a formula or a template in your head like all right here it is, stay relaxed, hold your breath. Okay, held under, count to five, count to 10, count to whatever. Okay, I'm back up. That's my rhythm, that's my song. And, and that also recognizing like, what are my own personal fears? So like for me, like um, I always think of objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Um, well, for me, it's more like <laughs> when I look back at the wave, you know, even baby waves look monstrous and aren't as bad as they seem. It's not as bad as it looks. So I have to remind myself that. And so it's like, I know my little, I know my wormholes in my head where it's like where I freak out. So if I can name what my fears are that aren't real and that they're just these little like like viruses or like little like things that like to dance around, but they don't have to be real. They only become real when I decide they're real. You know, false expectations appearing real, fear. False expectations appearing real, okay. So I'm like, okay, I know that that wave to me looks big. I know the catastrophic thinking I have about it, but actually it's like not so bad. All right, let's focus. My only power right now is focus. Um, you know, back in the day, my trapeze coach, and there's another YouTube about this, like about how like anger can help me focus. I don't feel like I have to get angry, but there is a change in my face, you know, like instead of being like Google eyed and like my energy spread everywhere, it's just like, Let's just bring it in, let's focus, okay? Do not think about anything else, okay? Waves coming behind, we start to paddle. Okay, what is my positive outlook? You know, what is my positive expectation? What is my goal? All right, you know, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna look forward. Once the wave catches me, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna ride it for as long as I can. And I also see myself elegantly getting off the wave. So I don't let my mind go into, I am going to die mode. And I think this is perfect for these times because we're in new water, we're on smaller boards. Maybe some of us are like, I didn't even wanna surf. Why, you know, this is horrible. <laughs> you know, we can like sob on the beach, um, but it's like, no, like what are our powers? Okay, if there's sunshine, let's like take a pause and hang out in the sunshine. We're totally allowed to go to like the little safety zone, you know, where like the waves aren't breaking and take a little moment to like recoup, you know, we're totally allowed to go find another surfer and be like, hey, you know what? Let's, let's just have a chat and like support one another, um, you know? And then it's like, if we're gonna surf, all right, like, our power, you know, doing our best, um, being real about what our limits are. So I'm not gonna try to put myself in waves that are uh, crazy, but you know what? I'm also gonna believe that I can handle it. Like I have the power to focus. And if my focus is seeming pretty lame, well, guess what? This is my homework practice, focus, being present. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest about the fears that pull me out of my power. And right now we have so much circulating, you know, all these things that could just like freak us out. And I've really had to get 
conscious for myself of like, what am I absorbing, you know, and, and who am I listening to? So I, I listen to like the voices when someone speaks. Okay, like, wh where are you coming from when you're telling me things? Um, you know, and also like, how do I feel when I'm listening to you? Because like, we, we really, the only way we're going to get through this is like finding our own ability to like not be superficial or fake calm or like pretend calm, but like, yeah, you know, there is a part of me that has stability and there's a part of me that can have focus and there's a part of me who actually has these amazing creative solutions. And what's so cool to me, I mean, I love creative solutions. Like my, one of my good friends who's, um, run trainings with me, you know, over the years, said that I'm great in crisis because it's like, you know, when everything falls apart, um, you know, I, I, I just create new things quite quickly. And we as humans get to do that, you know? This is the time where like planning isn't, you know, there's a safety that we create through planning. Like I've been doing some online uh, training and I have to admit, I get so fucking bored with the ones where I'm like, really? Like, you're just gonna keep doing these same repetitions, really? Um, you know, cause like, I, I feel like we expand when we're creative, when we're shown new ways to move in space with our body. And that yes, we might have resistance, but suddenly there's like this growth that happens. So this is our time for expanded growth, you know? Like, we're gonna get out of this being like, wow, you know, there's some things that I can do now that I never knew I could do. So this is my morning love to you, sending love from Tree World and uh, from this special cabin. And uh, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Bye.